I guess I was calling um, about, uh, you know, a vegan diet and the morality of um, eating a vegan diet versus a, a meat diet. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with atheism. Well, I guess it has to do with um, the idea that uh, I'm not compassionate and not killing animals uh, that want to live, uh, more or less, you know, that... that, that well, why uh, should I care? Why die. should I care if they want to live? Um, because you talk about um, not owning slaves and not killing people. Yeah, that's people. Um, I, both animals also you know, have feelings and, uh, you know, have... I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, de I wouldn't and, deny that, but... So, are you? Do you know the difference between a moral virtue and a moral obligation? Um, moral obligation? No, I guess I don't. Okay, so let's say there's a kid standing out in the road, and there's a bus coming, and it, you mm -hmm. would you would not you have the opportunity to rescue that kid without putting yourself at risk at all. Uh, you mm -hmm. could make a good argument that you have a moral obligation to rescue that kid because there's you know zero risk, everything else. If the bus is really close mm -hmm. and you would be putting yourself at risk, it would be morally virtuous of you to rescue that kid, but you're not necessarily under mm -hmm. an obligation anymore. You're, you're under a moral obligation to not run around killing people, but you're not mm -hmm. under a moral obligation to never tell a lie, although that might in fact be virtuous. Mm -hmm. my, my view mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to morality is uh, it's decidedly uh, speciesist. It, it's undeniable, mm -hmm. and I'm not at all bothered by that. It may, in fact, be morally virtuous to not eat animals, but I don't see it as a moral obligation. That said, there are certainly problems with meat industry that I object to, where we mm -hmm. may be doing harm to the planet in some cases. But what I find most yeah. of the time when I talk to especially ethical vegans, is that there's a gross oversimplification mm -hmm. because they've been, you know, listening to oh. Peter Singer or whoever just talk about a simplified view of morality that's about suffering. Um, and, you know, mm -hmm. would, it, would it then be wrong to eat insects who might suffer? Mm -hmm. I agree with that too, though. So you, you wouldn't want to eat insects not eat, either? Not to eat insects. Sure. Okay. No. Cool. I, I don't have that um, problem. You, you, how, many animals, how many animals die while we're farming the vegetables that we eat? I mean that's that's it's unfortunate, um, and yeah. I'm sure if we you know if we become more um, you know aware of the situation and more uh, compassionate, we figure out ways not to kill. What about people who have dietary? Farm. What about because pe humans aren't herbivores; they're omnivores. So what about people who have okay. specific diet problems that would require them, or financial constraints uh, well, that don't make a vegan diet particularly uh, beneficial or, or, or cost effective? Um, well, you know, I just I just saw um, a paper actually that said um, only herbivores get uh, uh, atherosclerosis. And uh, well, humans, humans humans aren't herbivores. Well, it's, it's that, that's that's the paper. So the paper is equating, it's, it's saying that only uh, herbivores get atherosclerosis and only humans get atherosclerosis. Dogs don't get uh, oh, atherosclerosis. Uh, okay, the paper the papers I mean, the papers full of crap. Because all that is, is um, that is, all that is is a redefinition. Humans are not obligate herbivores at all. You can choose to have an herb-based diet. You can choose to have a plant-based diet. And there, if you live in the monumentally privileged West, um, you have access to all sorts of things that might make it easier um, for you to have an herb-based diet. And, and you're welcome mm -hmm. to have a view. And I, I don't go out. I don't eat whatever you want. I'm not. I'm not objecting along those lines. But the, the question the is, the, que is the question. Sorry. The question is, is it immoral to eat right. meat? Yes. <laughs> so if I come across a dead animal on the side of the road, it's immoral for me to eat that. No. Oh well, then it's not immoral to eat meat. So now we're it's talking. It's immoral to kill. It's immoral to kill an animal. To eat, meat, to eat it. Right, but now we're talking it, it, about something else. So it's not the meat eating that is immoral. No. It is. It other. is the killing, and I disagree with yes. you that I, I have no problem at all um, with killing to sustain life. It's a. It, you can talk about it being unfortunate, but I don't. You need to make a case. It is you, 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 sure, I'm fine with that. I like animals. Uh, I like some of them more than mm -hmm. others. I like, you know, but the, the issue is you have to make a case that there's a moral obligation to not kill an animal in order to get me to change my mind. Uh, well, uh, what about, I mean, like the 99, probably 99% of the, of the animals that we do eat or people, that people eat um, are farm 
uh, you know, like factory farm. That, so that, doesn't, that doesn't matter. He, okay. That's not an argument for why but, there's a moral obligation to, I, to so not. So you're okay with the fact, you're okay with like a screaming pig as you kill it? <laughs> you're okay with, with that or like a, a chicken that wants to like eat food and walk around? You're okay with breaking its neck and, yes. and then frying it up? It, while you can eat a, a fruit or vegetables or... Yeah, or, you know, you know, and you're okay with that. Yes, I have hunted, killed, cleaned, and cooked meat mm -hmm. on my own. Right, and so th th that to me that sounds like it's okay, like uh, like a slavery argument. No, um, because they're not people. I already said it was speciesist. So the thing about morality, it, that the thing about you're right, exactly. I don't think. Okay, it doesn't mean I'm wrong either. Congratulations, we're at an impasse. Saying it doesn't mean I'm right. I'm telling you what my views on morality are. That's where Matt draws the line. Mm -hmm. you, you draw the line in, in, in a, a different, different place. Spot. And you have to make a, a compelling case for why I should change my mind and draw the line there. Um, it, it, I, think, I feel it's the same case of um, what, what people thought about um, African slaves in America. They I, I don't know how they, many. No. You, that was racist. I, I mean, like, not they, 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 they. Well, I mean, I mean, there is there is really only one race. Is that the, what you're saying? Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Well, I was just trying to clarify. Is that what you mean that, that they said they were being racist in much the same way Matt is being specious now? Is that kind of what you're getting at? Yes, that's what I'm getting at. They were yeah. saying that's different uh -huh. because they're black. That this is different because they're not people. Well, well even if you're correct, even if that's I, what they I thought, even Caven, Caven, even if you're correct, yeah. and my speciesism is as wrong as mm -hmm. the racism that allowed for slavery, you have to actually make a case mm -hmm. for why that is. You don't get to say, well, you know, hey, people used to think this way. I mean, it, it's it, well, it's a why is why is speciesism wrong? Was wrong. Why is speciesism why wrong? Speciesism wrong. It's because we, um, well, one is it's slightly killing us, eating the animals, and two, no, it's, killing it's not the killing us. It's a, no, it's not killing us. It's sustaining us. This is another one of those over. Is the shark immoral for eating a fish? No. Why not? Because that's its ecosystem. That's its life. We have we 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 are, we are smarter than the shark in a so sense. So what? What, what, can, what's that have to do with it? I mean, it has a lot to do with it because we ha we now have no uh, we're, we know not to kill a, a fish. We know we can live without killing the fish. You know, the fish who who's coming out of the water with a hook in his mouth and like gasping for life um, is tasty. Is it's, it's, sure, it's tasty, but so it's human, you know, and so it's a lot of things. I, I don't so know tasty. whether or not humans tasty, but the point is, humans I'm taste sure like chicken. It, if it's not immoral <laughs> for the shark to eat a fish. And, and it, no. you're saying it's immoral we're for not me. I'm, I'm aware that we're not sharks, but you're saying it's immoral for the shark, or not immoral for the shark to do it, but it's immoral for me to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm asking, what's the distinction? Yeah. Uh, because we know better. We don't know better. I don't know better. I don't know that it's immoral. You don't just. I mean, now you're just making an assertion. Okay. Well, I mean. Well, I guess. So like, morality, moral responsibility. From my view, uh -huh. from my view, moral yeah. responsibility is tied to a capacity to understand the consequences of one's actions. And we draw lines right. along species, we draw lines along species for very good reason. Because let's say there's someone, uh, a young boy, for example, I, I had somebody in my family, who's basically born with no cognitive abilities at all. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's still a human being. And the reason that we include that individual, even though they are not a thinking being at all, you know, a human born with mm -hmm. no cognitive abilities. They can't possibly assess their actions. They are under no moral evaluation. They have no moral reasoning. Mm -hmm. But we treat them within this category of humans because there are other people mm -hmm. who, who care about that kid. Okay? Right. And so it would be wrong mm -hmm. of me to kill that kid, even though he's brain dead, because of its impact on those other people who are moral reasoners and moral actors. Right. Mm -hmm. This is not an equitable arrangement when we start crossing the boundaries of species. Now, are there some species that I would put on, you know, this the side of the line uh, for uh, moral evaluation, such that they would be on the side of, you know, do not eat? Sure, but that doesn't mean everything. It doesn't mean insects, which is why I went to that first. It doesn't necessarily mean fish, which is why even a lot of people who have a problems with factory farming are still pescatarians. Um, this is not a resolved issue. And I'm not claiming that I'm right. I just have mm -hmm. not been convinced. 
And when, when ethical vegans in particular try to make the case, that it is the same responses mm -hmm. over, all the time. It's, oh, doesn't it bother you that the little animals suffer? Sure. What difference does that make? That, because the, the fact that... Okay. that it makes a difference. It makes a difference it, to the animal that's suffering. Um, okay. What if we killed animals where they felt nothing, no suffering? Would it still be immoral? Um, would they felt nothing at all? Would it be immoral? Yeah. Like, uh, you know. It might be... Yeah, I think it would be because... Exactly. Uh, so why are you way. bringing up suffering? This is the problem I have every time I get in this argument. You, you, state what your, well, you, you state what your primary foundation is, and then when we come uh -huh. up with an example that negates that primary foundation, you want to stay with it's mm -hmm. still immoral. So you guys got to figure out right. what is the actual still foundation. Animal unnecessarily is what I'm saying. Unnecessarily. Okay. What did, what's, also, the determination, what's the determination of whether or not it's necessary? If I'm out in the woods and I'm about to starve to death and there's a squirrel next mm -hmm. to me, is it, un, is yeah. it, it becomes necessary, mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, like, it depends on how, you know, we, we can live a long time without eating. Humans can live a long time without eating. I don't know how and, that addresses guess, the question at all because the, the scenario, okay. well, the scenario the set it up yeah, where it was more neat. If you have to eat the animal, then that's, fine. that's one thing. That's, it, 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 and it, so it's morally to, permissible then. If you have to eat then. the animal to live. If it's morally permissible then. then. So it's morally permissible in those situations, right? I wouldn't say it's moral. I would say it's a necessity. Let's say John and I crash at like, the. I guess like let's say feeling... let's say John and I crash at the top of the mountain. Is there ever a scenario where it's morally mm -hmm. permissible for him to eat me? If, if you're dead, that's cool. If I'm if I'm already dead, and he and, and he needs to survive, and he needs like like the that movie Alive or the the, the soccer team that uh, landed right. in the Alps or whatever. But apart from me dying of each other, apart from me dying of natural causes, even if like. You know, I'm going to die. If he suffocated you to eat you, then that's would be immoral. Okay. But if you're already dead and he needed to eat you, then I'd be, hey, go for it. But what if we're both just about mm -hmm. dead and I happen to die first? Yeah. But John knows that if he waits for me to die, he will no longer have the strength to build a fire and cook and eat me. Well, that, that's that, that's between you two, I guess. And that's a that's a uh, okay. A, then, uh, then me eating a chicken is between me and the chicken. And as soon as the chicken tells me, no, it's not. That it's, the have as a soon as the chicken, chicken tells me that the he, he, he objects, how do you know that? How do you know what a chicken wants? Well, if a chi the chicken say he wants to be eaten. The chi do, the do you think do, to your fridge, okay, here's the problem? Here's the problem, Caven. Here's the problem. Yeah. The chicken doesn't know it's going to be eaten. It doesn't want to be handled. It doesn't it want to be it, touched. It's in danger. It doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. It may. No. So the, you're talking about a fight or flight or re response. You don't get to. Uh, right. You know, you don't get to anthropomorphize it to say that. Oh, it doesn't want to be eaten. It doesn't have a concept yeah. of being eaten. Well, they know not to. They know. And how quite to frankly, danger to die. I mean, they, I mean, they may. I'm okay with being like eaten that. if I'm already you know, dead. I'm okay with being eaten if I'm already that's dead. Too. Uh, and I'm okay with eating animals if they're already dead. But I, it's the fact that we're killing I, the animals. I don't think a shark is especially we don't need immoral. To. Especially we don't need to. Well, no, okay. I don't need to either. So first of all, if you're just going to base it on need, get rid of your phone. You don't need it. I, you, I do need it. No, you don't. Humans, yeah, I need humans I survived. I need for jobs. Humans for, survived for millions of years without any sort of cell phone. I survived, yeah. But Do you ever drink anything it. other than water? Like you ever have a soft drink? I only drink. Well, now I only drink water, but um, I have. Yes, I drink. I have drinking soft drinks, and it's not good for you either. I mean, it's not good for. Okay, you know, but you don't need. But you too, don't but. need it. So th this is no, why. No, you don't need it at all. No, this, I, this, this is bad this bad. is why I wasn't particularly interested in taking this call, and it's because these conversations get roadblocked because I have a particular. Uh, view of morality, and when I yeah. what needs to happen is somebody needs to show me why that's wrong, and what I get are assertions about suffering. What I get are yeah. it's just wrong for you to be speciesist mm -hmm. with no demonstration mm -hmm. of why. Well, what makes you think that slavery is wrong? What makes me think that slavery is wrong because morality is about mm -hmm. well-being, and I'm talking mm -hmm. about humans and. and thinking creatures that I might actually include in that category. Um, and this diminishes the well-being of the individuals that are, who are enslaved, and it also diminishes the well-being of the culture that is doing the enslaving. 
Right, I agree, and and I agree that is equally the same with animal. I mean, we're diminishing. Not only are we diminishing our our environment, we're killing our environment. We're no, we're not. We're, no, how, how are we? So, so first of all, um, if your primary mm -hmm. objection is about the methods by which you know factory farms operate or whatever that are harmful to the environment, I already said at the beginning, I'm fine with that being a problem that needs to change. But that's mm -hmm. fundamentally different right. from the from your claim that it is immoral to kill an animal. Yeah. I mean, okay. And, and you and you won't eat insects, but I bet you're okay with the fact that insects and animals die as a you know a necessary byproduct. I'm not of, okay with it. I'm not okay with it. Okay, what are you doing about that? I mean, I don't know what I can do about that. I, I would like to. I I've, I have heard of uh, vegan farms where um, I do believe animals are not being uh, harmed. Really. So they're able, they're farming. able to they're yeah. able to hoe a row and plant seeds without you know hurting worms or anything. I'm not 100 percent sure exactly, but I'm, I'm uh, not either. I, I did hear at the base. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, yeah. your your issue is that it's wrong to kill mm -hmm. animals, and I don't. I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out what what backs that up that is wrong about my view, other than that we just have a disagreement. Well, I mean, it's because you can physically see the animal like tort being like in pain when you kill it. You know or, what? Like, if, you, if you like, I, I, uh -huh. I don't. I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't get it. Um, I'm not saying that torment or torture is good. I'm not mm -hmm. saying I don't like animals or let, let's just willy nilly slaughter everything. I'm not any in any way advocating <laughs> for violence. I'm just saying that I don't see the justification for saying that. Uh, killing and eating the flesh of animals is immoral. And th the mere fact that you keep saying, oh, well, you can see it, you know, squirming or whatever. I even gave you a hypothetical where there's mm -hmm. no, no pain, no suffering, no squirming. You still wanted to say it was Yeah, immoral. that's different. You, you said it was, Im okay. That's fine. I mean, and, and, if we, and, and if we can get the lab meat, that, that's totally fine. We get, we get culture from an animal without hurting it and we eat that. You want to kill yourself eating meat? That's that's cool too. Okay. Um, now you now you have slipped over into the sort of hyperbole that guarantees that I'm about to hang up when you start talking about kill, killing okay. yourself by eating meat. You have gone well beyond the pale, and we've spent more than enough time on this. It has nothing to do with atheism. So put together your case and uh, send it to email at tv at community.org. Maybe I'll. Uh, give it some more time or thought, but if you don't have a case for why it's okay. actually immoral, but beyond just you personally are not comfortable with killing mm -hmm. animals, I don't know how we can fix this. But when you start doing the, you're, you're free to kill yourself with meat. Uh, I was just saying, I was just giving my opinion. I was giving my opinion on. I don't on give a it. shit about people's opinions saying, about okay. health issues. Right. I care about the science of health issues. I care about the science of health issues. That eating meat is killing well, the, you. The, uh, that eating yeah, science has shown and, and that like the, eating meat is killing you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And, and there's plenty of books send, out there. And send it, send and me. The, no, the, no, no, no. Stop. Send me okay. the scientific papers that show that eating meat okay. is killing you. And you better not send I'll just. Hey, it. too much red I meat won't. is harmful. I want a paper no, that I says won't. eating I'll, I'll meat that. is killing you, and then we'll talk again. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I have lots of vegan friends who are vegans for different reasons at different times. Eat, you know, if you want a vegan diet because your view of morality is that it's immoral, that's fine. I may even be wrong. This is something uh, Sam Harris and I will probably talk about at some point. We're doing three or four events together, and I know that he's... Is he a vegan? Uh, no, oh. uh, and neither is Richard. But Richard's acknowledged that he may, in fact... Uh, be engaged in immorality biting meat, at least in one conversation that vegans love to pass around all over the place. The issue is, if I'm wrong, you've got to come with a compelling case. Because what you're saying is, it, what I'm advocating is immoral. Not that it's morally neutral, not that, it, not that we don't have a, a settled understanding of whether or not it's moral, but that it's actually wrong. Um, until you can make a case that is, you know, a strong, I'm, I'm not going to change my mind. But I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying I remain unconvinced in much the same way that I don't say, generally, there's no such thing as God. Uh, I'm, I'm unconvinced that there is a God. I may be strongly convinced that there's not, depending on the definitions. 
uh, and I'm happy to have the conversations. But there are people who seem obsessed to the point of making multiple videos on whether or not I'm a vegan uh, because they see it as immoral. So make your case. We watched a video recently um, from, I think, uh, oh, was, it, was it Peter Singer that we watched? Anyway, it was so full of fallacious reasoning, I had a, like two pages of notes on it. And it still doesn't mean that they're wrong. It's about making a compelling case.